Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to another video on my channel and as you can see by the title, we're doing another video a different type of video, not a vlog, not a preview, it's something different Today, we are looking at and discussing who could become the man to try and save Barnsley from this horrific season so far I'm going to be going on to Skybet and looking at the top 5 favourites as that's my best way to see it as Sky Bet will have all the inside sources and know who's getting interviewed and who's the closest to getting it. I'm going to look at the top five favourites to get the bar on the job and go through, give you some stats and stuff and give you my opinion on them and tell you if I think they'd be the right people for the job. If you do enjoy this video, please drop a thumbs up and subscribe. We're close to 1.8k, so every little bit helps. Let's get on with the video. <laughs> Right guys, we're going to be going from 5th favourite all the way up to 1st favourite, starting off with a man called Jens Keller, a German manager I do believe, um, you guys might have heard of him, he's been around the speculation within the last couple of weeks, since we've got closer and closer to not getting a manager, it's been ridiculous, it's been over 2 weeks, nearly 3 weeks since we haven't had a manager, which I think is outrageous, but anyway, 5th is Jens Keller, he's managed in Throughout his managerial career, he's managed in the Bundesliga for all of his career. Managing five different Bundesliga clubs, the, the likes of Ingolstadt, um, Nuremberg, which is where he is currently at. He has a win ratio of 47%. Um, with this man, I don't know too much about him besides the facts I've given you. I heard a lot of people not too happy about this rumour as his... Um, a win percent in what wasn't the best at less than 50% and that he, he's been sacked from every job I do believe but if you think about it most managers get sacked from every job so I can see the point but then I think it's a bit thingy uh, like I said I don't know too much about him he's going to be bringing another guy over from another country that doesn't know nothing about the championship it's going to be new to him and that's not going to help these players get out, get off the bottom of the league any quicker for me. So I think someone overseas is not going to be very good unless they've had experience in an English league, which, looking at this guy's CV, he has not. So in my opinion, this guy would not be the right man, but he is fifth favourite on the... The next manager on the favourites list on Skybet is the man who just recently left his job role at Cardiff City, Neil Warnock. Used to play or live in Barnsley, one or the other. Um, highly rumoured to be coming back. He has left Cardiff as he does, as he, in his thing, he said he felt he couldn't get them to where they needed to be with the squad he's got. He's set to retire at the end of the season. So, I mean, a lot of rumours thinking that he'll finish his career over at Oakwell, as I do believe he used to live in, live in Barnsley or something like that. Um, he's got a long history of management. He's a very tough and solid manager. Um... Like I said, tough and solid manager. Um, I reckon he would rip into these players and help them grow the balls to get off bottom in this league. But for me, if Barnsley Football Club does fork out to pay Neil Warnock's wages and sign him on, um, he will want back in the January transfer window to keep us up. And I cannot see our club um, buying by that and keeping us up. So in my opinion, it would be a great manager. Um, I'd love him to come finish his career at our club. He's a bit of a knob, as people say, but um, he plays boring football, you might say, but he keeps teams up. And I, I think he'd be perfect for the job, but um, he'll want backing in January, like I've already said, and I can't see our club but I back him any manager that comes in. Not with the funds that he'll want. We've got the money, but I can't see him doing it. But I think Neil Warner would be a great shout, but I cannot see it happening. The next manager on the list is another guy that's been... Manager in early in the season, like Warnock, it is Jan Sewer, the ex Huddersfield town boss. He was appointed last year when Huddersfield was rock bottom of the Premier League after Wagner, who did an incredible job to get Huddersfield in the Premier League. He left or got sacked with Jeva, and Jan Sewer came in to try and save Huddersfield from relegation. Obviously, coming in to a very tough league. The Premier League, hardest leagues in the world, trying to get a team with not the best team compared to the Premier League standard off the bottom of the league to try and save them. As most people expected, he got relegated with them. So obviously, they wasn't going to sack him because his expectations would have been 
over high if he would have kept him up. He then went into the start of this season, 2019-20 season, with um, Huddersfield Town and being sacked after single-figure games for Huddersfield being down in the relegation zone. Obviously, since he's left and the Crowley brothers have come in, and made a big impact, but yeah, um, he was at Huddersfield this year. Um, very good players at Huddersfield, but he couldn't do much with them, unfortunately for him. He's been highly linked. Another Ge another German, ma managed in the Premier League, even if he didn't do so well. He's been in the Premier League, he's been in the Championship. Maybe if he's not been so long, but he's been in the English leagues. So I would prefer that over someone like this Jens Keller, who's never touched English football before. Um, I do believe Jan Seward wouldn't be the answer to our questions, but he is third favourite for a reason. Highly linked with us since the departure of Daniel Stendhal. Um, like I said, I don't believe he would be the key fit to keeping us up. But he's not the worst one to bring in. Another German, we've been linked with a lot of Germans recently. But I don't believe he'd be the best. Now we're on to the second favourite. Going in to the Barnsley history is Neil Redford, an ex-player, as you guys will know. Um, meant was a very cracking player, I did hear. Um, I've seen him on um, the Sky Sports panel when we've been on TV a couple of times. Seems quite a down and sound to earth guy. I never got the chance to watch him. But yeah, he's a Barnsley boy, played for Barnsley and he's been linked with us. Um, ex-player, obviously. He's been managing recently at um, one of the Newcastle's under 19, I think he was under 19s or 18s or under 23s, one of them. But he's recently left, as rumours were he couldn't get on with some coaching staff there. People were leading to believe that he left because he was coming towards. I do believe he used to um, manage at Mansfield as well. But this one, um, he knows the club inside out, which I think would be incredible. And you've got the likes of Bobby Hassel and Devaney, who also know the club inside out, who have never been bothered about the first team managerial coach. Um, I just see it as a uh, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer situation. Um, legend for the club, but if he comes in and um, doesn't do very well as managing, will that ruin his reputation on the club? And you don't want that for a player that made such an impact of what I've heard back on the club back in the day. Um, once again, he knows the league, he's played in the league, he's watched the league for years because he's over from here and he's played in it. Um, I do believe he played in the Premier League with us. If I'm wrong, I do apologise. So, he's got the experience. Um, I'm not sure how well he did managing the Newcastle under 23s, under 18s, whichever it was. I'm not sure about that, but he knows and he's had a bit of experience. So, I'm not too sure about Redfern. I cannot see this one happening, but better than a foreign, foreign manager in my opinion. Now we're on to the manager that is favourite to take the job for many reasons. It is Adam Murray. Um, currently our caretaker boss he didn't used to be the favourite but since he picked up them points against Swansea and West Brom he's moved up to the favourite he's up there with Redford and Seawork like I've mentioned um, I've got to give him credit when he first got appointed as our caretaker boss everyone was like yeah he's just temporary he won't manage a game he'll just be temporary until we get a manager in because we had a think a full week off and we all expected a manager to come in and him not tax and manage the game and I'm not going to lie I thought that as well, and as soon as we realised he was managing a game, everyone was like, why are we letting an under-18s coach manage? But you've got to give him props for what he's got to use. He's done pretty well. He's took teams off, teams in the top. Unfortunately, we've lost some games to Huddersfield and Stoke, teams down there, which we shouldn't have lost to, but it is what it is. Murray's obviously the favourite because he's currently at the thingy. In my opinion, if you're going to put money on anyone, it'd have to be Murray because any of them other ones... I don't know. I really don't know without any inside info, but I'm sure we'll find out. As soon as we find out, I'll be first to let you know, guys. But there are the top five, and there are my opinions. Let me know who you think would have a chance of saving Barnsley Football Club this season. I'm not sure who. If anyone, it's got to be Warnock for me, but I can't see his backing him in January because he'll want backing. But anyway, that's been me. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video, guys. If you have enjoyed, give it a thumbs up and like. Um, we're on the road to 1.8k. I think we're about 70 subscribers off. So if you could subscribe, that would be incredible. I want to try hit that before Christmas. That's a goal. Any better than that is amazing. There should be some kind of video or live stream Saturday. Seeing as there's no game. As it's international weekend. There's England game Thursday, Sunday. I'm not sure. I'll be live streaming one of them. I'm not sure. Most likely the Sunday one. 
but we'll see. Thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next.